Ever wondered why some people commit crimes while others lead a life of abiding the law? The field of criminology dives into this interesting mystery. In this IEWO JPS One Minute Key Thinkers in Criminology series, we have Professor Jai Shankar guiding us through the realm of modern criminology, a world that was significantly shaped by a man who devoted his life to untangling the enigmas of crime. His name was Cesare Lombroso. Born in 1835 in Verona, Italy, Lombroso was a man of many talents. Intensely curious, he was into two medicine, resulting in military as a surgeon. He ran an insane asylum in 1871 and became a professor of forensic medicine in 1878. It was in the insane asylum he found his interest in the criminal mind. In 1876, Lombroso published L'Uomo Delinquente, a work that would revolutionize criminology. He introduced a radical theory, the born criminal theory. Lombroso proposed that physical traits might hint at criminal propensities, suggesting innate criminal tendencies. His iconoclastic ideas shook established norms, igniting fierce debates and controversy and forever altered our understanding of crime. He later became a professor of psychiatry and criminal anthropology before dying at Turin in 1909, leaving behind quite the legacy. This Italian scholar's work set the foundation for criminology's scientific approach, marking him as the first to use measurement in criminology. His theories shifted focus from moral judgment to empirical observation, questioning the free will theory of Cesare Beccaria, the father of classical criminology. Lombroso, considered as the father of modern criminology, is still renowned for being the first to look into the why of a crime and what exactly made a person a criminal, as opposed to someone who is not a criminal. Thank you.